Wow, it's been a while since I've joined you guys. I think uh, uh, Vesa has been telling me, hey, man, you got to come by and chat with people about what's been going on with Syntax. And uh, we've been working on a lot of things for Syntax, but one of the things that I wanted to share with you today is just some new templates that we have recently published to the Lookbook service to make it uh, easier to learn more about Syntax because we're still trying to help people understand what Syntax is and how you can benefit from it and, uh, with your content services needs. So let me quickly put some framing up here before we jump into the demo. Just a quick kind of framing of, uh, great, Sean, Syntax, what is that? So Syntax is actually a new product add-on for SharePoint that we released back in October, 2020. And we have uh, since been continuing to evolve the service that was initially launched uh, that fall, uh, as well as expanding uh, on the capability offering. And really what it is, is it's about really augmenting the already powerful SharePoint content services platform. And largely the way that we're doing that is with the introduction of just more automation uh, with the inclusion of uh, AI services and apps that you can easily configure or train to add to your uh, content that you're storing in SharePoint to automate classifying files, uh, stamping things with IP labels, extracting information from the documents, leveraging all those amazing investments you're making in taxonomy, content types, and other existing uh, SharePoint content management services. And so really what uh, we've been doing is uh, over the last year since the release of that is uh, continuing to build on this platform. And let me quickly jump over here to slides now. Um, and so one of the things that we've learned from uh, our preview customers and talking to MVPs and customers uh, like yourselves is just really learning that, hey, there's a lot here. How do we kind of try it out? How do we understand what syntax can work for me? And better and more importantly, how can I evaluate, best evaluate syntax to see if it's right for uh, my organization or my customer or my content needs? And so one of the things we do provide is a Syntex uh, trial because it is an additional license on top of SharePoint. And what we and that license is great, but folks were like, hey, I didn't get enough time to kind of evaluate this thing fully. And so uh, while we are continuing to kind of build on the capabilities that, yes, do require a license, you can just get a couple of user licenses to try it out. Uh, we do have trials, but we've also uh, last summer actually released a an option where an admin can configure a content center, which is a site where models for syntax can be trained and then applied to uh, libraries in your tenant. Um, that uh, site template is was a core piece of syntax when we released it, uh, because that was sort of like the platform for uh, a lot of the new syntax features, specifically these uh, models, these AI apps that you can train. But what we wanted to do was also make those available for evaluation. And so you can go ahead and config, an admin can configure these content centers, and it's a limited preview. So it allows users to kind of check out some of the features and also um, build a model, but locally test it out. You can't really apply it anywhere without a license. And so that was sort of like that first step. The next step though was to you know, really make these things more broadly available and give people more information to kind of highlight these areas that are really the pillars of syntax, content intelligence, content services, and content discovery. And that also kind of alludes to just a lot of the new capabilities that we're providing. And so I have a couple slides here about what these templates are, but you know, we'll make these available to you guys, uh, I believe, uh, at least through the video here, but better, you can go check these out yourself and even deploy them through the lookbook service. So that's the exciting thing I wanted to demo here today. Um, we did two templates real quickly. For the first one is just this content center site template. And what, it, what we did was we kind of revamped it. So it includes a lot more information, links to resources like our blog, training materials, sample models that you can actually import and bring in to your library for evaluation to understand how models are constructed and how they work to classify files and extract information from them. And then we gave you a sort of more of a solution accelerator, something that's a little bit more aligned towards contract management. And I'm excited about this one because 
uh, not only does it sort of give a more business focused example uh, and configuration in the site for how you might use syntax in a real world use case like contract management, but we're also working on models that are even easier to deploy specifically around things like contracts. Uh, what we just released earlier this year, in fact, uh, about a month and a half ago, are pre-built models. And the first set of pre-built models that we introduced were uh, invoices and receipts. We have a couple more like contracts that we'll be releasing uh, later this spring and summer, and we'll continue to build out that pre-model portfolio. So what's a pre-model, uh, pre-built model? A pre-built model is one that's pre-trained, that's it. So essentially, instead of you having to go and explain and train the model to understand each entity that you want to extract from a document, what we've done is done some of that heavy lifting for you, where we have evaluated in this case, let's say thousands of contracts. Well, let's not use contracts because it's not available yet. How about invoices? We've evaluated thousands of invoices, looked at a lot of common entities and invoices like supplier, invoice ID, total, things like this, and trained those models. So now what you can do is run those models against your own content. Say, great, you've identified a bunch of the fields that I need. Let me configure that model. So not a training experience so much as a configuration. And then you can go ahead and deploy it and you're off to the races with very minimal effort. And so this pre-built is sort of like, a, uh, just it's a ramp that we're just starting to build out more on with uh, other partners uh, within the org company. And really is, I think it's gonna amplify what Syntax can do for you as we move forward. So what we wanted to do again is make these things available to you guys uh, to get you started uh, through the lookbook service, because we just think this is a very powerful and much utilized uh, provisioning tool for your own organization. And so we've added uh, a new SharePoint Syntax node and we've added these new templates. And I anticipate that as we build out additional functionality, we'll not only continue to refine these templates, but we'll add additional ones as well uh, based on you know, your input and feedback and also what we're developing and what makes sense to kind of compile to kind of get you started. And so what these things look like is the contract management one, is fairly rudimentary right now. It's more of a way to sort of think about how syntax can be used, sort of art of the possible. You know, it kind of lays out uh, a lot of the information and pieces for you. What we do is we automatically configure a sample contract library for you. So I'm not going to take you through the whole lookbook provisioning process. Uh, for those of you on the call, you're probably familiar with some of this, but you can just go through if you have global admin or SharePoint admin rights. You can go ahead and uh, uh, select that lookbook template and go ahead and add it to your tenant and it takes anywhere from a couple minutes to 15 minutes and then it will show up in your admin center content centers by the way are a filterable template so you'll see here in my environment i've got a whole bunch of content centers so yes you can have more than one in fact uh, some of our larger uh, customers are deploying multiple content centers within their tenant just to more organize the models that are deployed for those different parts of their organization. And so that's certainly an information architecture that you might find useful for your organization or business needs as well. So back to the site template, uh, the contracts management one, what we do is when you provision this thing, it already provisions the sample contract library. And you'll see here that not only does it provision the library, it provisions it with a bunch of content and also a model has already been applied here. And you'll see that this model has already processed all of these files and not only identified the content type, uh, essentially classifying the file, but also extracted all this information from these files. And you can go see what these files look like. These are sort of like just a sample contract that illustrates what a document might look like and some of the information that we can extract from it. And you'll see that this is sort of a, you know, just an unstructured Word document contract that we can go ahead and train a model to extract information like client address, job ID, uh, client name, service type, et cetera. And you can go see what the model looks like by looking in the model library itself. And in this case, this is a document understanding model. And so these document understanding models uh, uh, effectively allow you to build a model that can be trained to classify these files as well as extract information from them. And so in this example, I've got a bunch of sample files here that I've trained to extract information like client, client address, job ID, et cetera. The same information that you're seeing in this uh, sample contract library, because when the model gets applied, it applies that schema, apply, makes all those uh, uh, 
trained extractors columns that can then uh, be populated with the data that's extracted from those files. Okay, And so when you look at this model, you'll see that there's this whole process that we've gone through, uh, which is really quite straightforward, to go ahead and label the files to help the model understand what information you want to extract. So now you're probably thinking, whoa, whoa, Sean, there's a lot of information. How do I learn more about the sample model that you built? How can I build one of on my own with my own content? Well, you can try it out with this contract uh, site template, or we have another site template here, which is also available in the lookbook under the same syntax tab, and this is the general content center one. And what this one does is this one's really more of a getting started with syntax. It really is uh, designed to provide a whole, centralize a whole bunch of information around things like how to set up a, a content center, how to get started with syntax. We have links to the learning path, to the blog, all of our documentation, and you can start to learn really about what are the steps to get started with syntax, starting with getting that content center created, building your first model. We've got a lot of resources out here on the site, as well as in our documentation. We also have documentation on these site templates themselves. So if you go to uh, uh, docs.microsoft.com, I'll pop a link in the window in a second, you'll see that we've got a whole section of uh, documentation on syntax that walks you through not just the different types of custom models you can build, but also pre-built models, these newly released pre-built models, how those are similar but a little bit different in the fact that they're pre-trained and can be uh, utilized in your organization, as well as other features that we're bringing to the Syntex portfolio, things like content assembly, where you can start to generate content using um, predefined placeholders and information. So think of it as uh, a mail merge on steroids. Uh, we're also adding new capabilities like metadata search so that you can start to do clever things like, hey, great, I'm extracting all this information, Sean. Now what do I do with it? Well, you might want to be able to search for it. And so we want to give you more advanced search capabilities that really allow you to leverage that extracted metadata to go and build more rich and interesting uh, and complex searches to uh, find the information that you need, especially if you're starting to collect large volumes of documents and files in a single library. Other features that we're also bringing to the table are things like really leveraging our existing managed metadata services like taxonomy. You know, imagine being able to build an extractor where you don't just extract the information from an uploaded file and write it into the column, but imagine being able to first validate that against uh, a map term set and be able to consistently effectively tag those uploaded documents with your own business vocabulary. So a lot of that information is there. My call to action or encouragement is if you are curious about syntax or just getting started on your journey with syntax, I hope you'll find that these templates are incredibly useful to get started learn more about the product, learn more about where the product is going, and we look forward to your feedback so that we can keep bringing more improvements, not just to these templates, but also additional templates to you to really help you with your content services uh, use cases. A lot of information, a lot of this stuff you can find under uh, aka.ms SharePoint Syntax will be a good place to start, but I've also got some links here to things like uh, our roadmap, some general uh, demos and other resources, as well as we even have a GitHub repo. Uh, some folks are familiar with this. We've uh, been putting some information there like model samples. And we imagine that as we and you, the community, move forward with working with syntax, there might be opportunities to uh, share and reuse some of these models, especially for common uh, schemas and data elements so that you don't have to always be starting from scratch. The idea is to not only make it easier for, to you, for you to build and train and configure these models, but also leverage the mind sharing contributions of the community. All right. Um, yes, Adam, uh, Syntex is not a part of E5. It's a separate uh, uh, SKU, uh, separate license. So you can uh, essentially add Syntex to uh, E3. Excellent information, Sean. And yes, we do have a couple more questions in the chat if you'd like to go ahead and respond to those. Um, just in the interest of time, we'll want to make sure that we move on to our next presenter um, so of we course. can. Uh, Finish on time. So thank you so much, Sean, for this excellent information. Got lots of thumbs up and hearts as you were going through your sections. So know there's interest in this and people want to definitely learn more about this. So appreciate all that you've been able to share today. Absolutely. And thank you. And thank you to uh, everyone on the call for your time and interest. Take care. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks so much.